Hello, all. welcome back to my channel, my own channel. Yes, I think I'll wear glasses today, but there you go. Okay, um, I have some questions today. Um, I think it's mainly to do with um, aftercare, mainly you know, uh, services like mental health services and recovery teams too. So, <clears throat> I'm still pondering over this first question. Oh, I noise in the background, it's uh, trains running about in the background again. Um, okay. So this question one. Uh, what would, what would have, have what would have helped most when you were going through crisis? Now I'm still pondering on this one because um, there wasn't many things I could do really. Um, even though I put myself in a very uh, dark situation with you know, with what I went through previously for. Uh, by self harming, the overdoses, you know, the suicidal thoughts too. Um, so yeah, this is all crisis for me. Um, I'd like to think I would have liked to open up more to maybe friends. I can't say family because that's just uh, it's kind of too personal and sort of overwhelming. Telling them what you know. What I was, what I was doing, what I was going through. But I don't, I don't think they would understand. So, um, I think I'd put this down to maybe they were seeking help from friends. Actually, true friends actually stood by me. Um, you know, given the 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 extra push to make you know make a call to uh, mental health services like the primary care, the secondary sec secondary care. Um, Depending on how, um, what's the word looking for? How bad the situation was. And I, I definitely, it really, it really was bad. Um, so I had to ring the one, is it one 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 service quite a few times. Even though I felt really embarrassed because I couldn't think they had to get myself out of that situation. So even though. The, um, the person on the other end, the, um, the, so the, the help on the help desk, um, they they really wasn't uh, really wasn't very knowledgeable. Or to so they kept saying to me, you know, think about yourself, uh, your safe space, um, where you want to be. Um, try and distract your bad thoughts with good thoughts. Um, think about your hobbies, um, or uh, if you're in a, a bad space, try and get out there, you know, go out the front door, go out for a, go out a, little, for a little walk. Even though, even though the anxieties can be really high, um, like my, my, mine were, and still are to this day, um, I can't go out for long walks. Um, even in crowded spaces, like you know, towns or cities, I can't, I can't do that anymore because I get too anxious. Then, you know, I just think I, I, just, I just freeze and panic sometimes. Um, I, I don't feel safe at all. Something, those sort of situations. So it, it does bring it all back for where I was back then. Um, hey, anyway, like on topic. Um, Yes, yeah, so I, th I think um, the people on the help desk um, need to know a bit more remit and knowledge about how to help a person going through uh, difficult times, uh, bad crisis situations. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe a bit of uh, a bit more training I think involved. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna volunteer for these help lines, then fine. You got to know how to how to deal with the person on the other end. That make that's actually making the call. Um, how to help them? I mean, do you put your do you put your mind um, 
but do, do you put yourself in their shoes? I mean, I would call it back into the, the crisis help, the help her person that wants to help, or the helper, it's a help, helper. So if you're, you're, you're the crisis team and you don't know what to do, you got you have to put yourself into the other person's shoes. I think, hmm, how am I going to help? help I'm going to help myself um, before I go ahead, ahead and help other people. Um, so I think that's that'd be one way of helping other people who are in actually bad situations and bad crises. Actually, need the help from uh, the mental health services. Um, okay, so I think that's that one. Um, question two. Would it have helped if someone from the recovery team had known, had known how to help you with your failed surgery? Yes, I think, again, this is a definite yes. Um, the, the remit for uh, mental health services and recovery teams are not there. They need to be, need to be trained. Um, do more trained sessions with you know, um, hospitals or people that can actually help before helping people with um, failed, failed surgeries plus they have to care too. So yes, it's, it's a definite must. Um, no knowledge before you can help someone else. Um, get remit done. Um, yeah, and go from there. Just get, just get, make sure you get all, make sure you're knowledgeable before you actually help the, the person involved and have them to move on uh, in a good cause. Um, so, I mean, the aftercare is always crucial to the person who wants it, even though there isn't any, but there should be. Um, so, yeah, make sure you're, you're all knowledgeable, um, whether you're a recovery team. Um, primary care, secondary care, even doctors, yes, they are, uh, they're sort of knowledgeable, but not to the full extent. So we have to help them through our knowledge to help others. So this is a plus. Okay. Question three. Do you think the recovery team should have a transgender specialist? Yes, they should. Um, it's not just transgender, it's just it's also the LGBT um, communities that should that should be more more involved. Um, it's not it's not just the, the trans people, the trans community that need help. It's it, it's open to all, um, especially the, the gay, lesbian, bi. Um, plus the, the other labels, people that label themselves too, uh, different communities, we only help to move on, move on, move forward with any crisis too, whether it be uh, from suicides to have harm, um, overdoses, drink, drugs, that sort of thing, um, any any aftercare from a recovery team or mental health services is badly needed, badly. Um, so yes, it's, it's a yes to all, all the questions. Um, whether it's failed surgeries, going through, through the surgeries, how we've now what's next to do, um, how to move on from different situa situations to coping courses. Um, oh, there is a course, course out there, the, it's a DBT, the, the Dialectical, Dialectical Behaviour um, Therapy. This is, um, this is also a, a well-known um, course to do by, by many. Um, also helps you cope to cope in, in coping courses on crisis that are really hard to get through and work through. So, yes. 
Well, they've been trained. So yes, it's a yes to all. Um, as long as you can find a way out of a bad situation, a bad crisis. Um, if it's going outside um, from the situation that you're in, talking to true friends or maybe true family if they are stood, stood by you. This will help too, or even pick up the phone and just actually have a heart to heart and open up to how you're actually feeling, uh, where you are inside your mind, your head, your, your mental health and well-being too. You have to explain all and everything to the crisis people, recovery team too, mental health team. They all want to know you and your insides and outside so they can have it on the system. So next time um, there's, there's crisis, they can look at the system and know what to do and know how to help you to move forward in bad times, bad situations, and hopefully get you back on the right track. Okay, so I think I covered those. I'm pretty sure there are more questions that can be answered, but in my time, I can't really think of you know, what are the questions I can think of to write down or even a partner to, because he's also has written and composed uh, a transgender um, coping course, in coping of course, as it, as it is, mental health and well-being too. So hopefully this, this will be put onto the the Avon Wiltshire Partnership um, AWP website or onto the onto them personally. So yeah. Anyway, I shall leave it there. And if I think of any more questions, I will come back. Um, I will try and keep this um, this channel open and going. Um, the more questions, the more ideas. Of moving moving forward before before join after then yeah I will try and help people if I can. Um, but thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate your time and support and the energy to watch my films or you know, films be located. I like. Um, as for music, I don't know what I'm going to do there because um, I sort of I'm rather hard to play anymore. But who knows. Okay, um, right. So see you all soon, and yes, uh, have a safe and good weekend. Bye for now.